you're creative and imaginative and are good at visualizing things in three dimensions, think about becoming an architect. Architects develop ideas and designs for buildings and other structures based on their clients' needs. They prepare sketches and construction cost estimates, produce construction drawings and review on-site construction work. We visited an architect to find out more. My name is Laura Plaus. I am an architect and associate with Group 2 Architecture Engineering Limited. An architect is someone who, who uh, works with a large collective of people in order to realize a vision for a new space or a new building. And uh, the architect's role within that is typically to act as the prime consultant, which means that we organize everyone and uh, make sure that we fulfill the requirements of the client. Once you get into the actual construction of a building, we have to handle the construction administration phase of it. And that means that we're working with the contractor to answer any questions that might come up. Certainly when people think of what an architect does, I think that uh, there's often an assumption that it's completely based on aesthetics. Now, a portion of our, our work is, of course, based on aesthetics, but uh, we also take into account many other factors, including durability, cleanability, uh, the length of time that building materials will last. I grew up in a family where uh, we were building a lot of uh, houses, it seemed, for a period of time. So I was involved in the construction at an early age. And uh, so that's ultimately what, what brought me to architecture, was thinking about how to bring together skills I had in maths and sciences as well as the artistic uh, pursuits. Typically a person who works as an architect um, might be in a private office, much as I am, or they may work for an institution such as the Government of Alberta or the City of Edmonton, representing the client side of, uh, of the process and projects. Architecture is very much a team-based um, pursuit uh, in, in its current iteration. So when I work on a, on a project, uh, even in a leadership role, I'm typically working with a team of anywhere from two to six people within our office, um, as well as the wider consultant team. During a typical week, I mostly am in the office. I would be out on site or at meetings, typically two to three times probably a week. I'm often traveling uh, to a site or to meetings with other people from our office. Uh, I'll go to site just to check up on how things are going and to make sure that the, the vision that we have for the project and the expectations that the client has are being fulfilled. The, the tools and equipment that I use most in my day are the computer and the telephone. Uh, but typically on the computer, uh, we move through a lot of different uh, software in the work that we do. Uh, myself, I've worked extensively uh, with AutoCAD. I also work with uh, graphic programs for the proposals and the marketing materials that we develop. In terms of personal protective equipment, uh, when we go onto construction sites, we are required to wear hard hats and as well appropriate footwear, which has to be steel-toed boots. The skills that are required to be an architect are quite wide and varied. Um, certainly, we have to have good skills uh, for communication, both in drawing and in verbal and written communication. One of the interesting things of becoming an architect is that um, you do require a significant amount of schooling, typically totaling about six or seven years, um, but you can start with a bachelor degree in any field and then move on to do a Master of Architecture uh, for their first professional degrees what it's actually called. Once you've graduated with a Master of Architecture degree, um, you typically find work in a firm and then register within the Intern Architecture Program. That program requires that you fulfill a minimum of three years of experience uh, in specific areas as well as complete a series of professional exams. Uh, those are all done while we're working, so you have to find the time in the evenings and uh, weekends, of course, to study, prepare, and then finally write those exams. One of the things I find most satisfying about the work that I do is going into a completed building with a client group uh, at the end of a project. Um, the, the best projects are the ones where we walk through and not only are the clients and the users happy, but they're amazed that the building has achieved even more than they thought would be possible. 
The typical hours for an architect are usually about 40 hours a week, you know, in eight to five type of work day. Of course, we are a project-based uh, field, which means that we have deadlines that come up and that do sometimes require extra hours in order to, to meet those deadlines. And I like to have time also to accommodate um, the activities in my life, which include biking and running to work. If someone was considering the career of uh, architecture, I would suggest that they should go talk to some architects and, and consider what it is that they're looking for. Do they want to work in a team-based environment? Are they open to learning new things uh, regularly? And uh, are they looking for a challenge? Uh, certainly I'm very happy with the career choice that I made. I think um, being an architect is or has worked out very well for me. I think it has utilized the skills that I have and the educational background that I pursued. And uh, I look forward to seeing what architecture can offer me in the coming years and how it will continue to evolve. To become an architect, you will typically need at least seven years of post-secondary study. If the occupation of architect interests you, there's more information available, including educational requirements and salary ranges in the occupational profiles on ALICE. You may also be interested in the related occupations of landscape architect, architectural technologist, or civil engineer. Learn more on the ALICE website and make the most of your future. Visit us at alice.alberta.ca.